Graphic from UJ Education Learning Centre. In the last video, I shared with you the set approach. And today, I'm going to share with you the part two of the approach. If you have not watched our previous video, please check it out because the questions in this video is more advanced than the previous ones. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's take a look at the first question. Now, in this question, there are boys and girls in the story and tokens were given to the boys and girls. Draw the table and let's write the header girls and boys followed by people and tokens. Now let's use the read and write approach and as we read the question, we'll fill in the information into the table. Now that all the information is filled out, let's take a look at what makes one set. One set is made up of three girls and five boys. So quantity times value means that you have to take three girls multiplied by the number of tokens given to the girls plus five boys multiplied by the number of tokens given to the boys. One set is made up of three girls multiplied by two tokens plus five boys multiplied by three tokens. This will give you a total of 21 tokens. This is important because one set is a total of 21 tokens. Take 420 divided by 21 will give you the answer 20. This represents 20 sets. So let's answer the first question. How many boys are there at the fun fair? In one set, there are 5 boys. So 20 sets would be 20 times 5. There are 100 boys at the fun fair. Let's take a look at part B. How many tokens did the girls receive in total? Take a look at the table. It shows that in one set, 6 tokens were given to the girls. So in 20 sets, 20 times 6, 120 tokens were given to the girls. Now you should be able to solve similar set approach questions. Remember to join us on our social media platform and join us on our Facebook Math Discussion Group to learn about more math tips. See you soon! Bye!